Liverpool 2, Arsenal 2. This game represented a real sliding doors moment for both teams. One team falls as, as another team rises. And as we cross paths, Liverpool stung Arsenal and have, uh, leaving them major, major ramifications in uh, Arsenal's title bid. Um, first half, players not switched on. Um, Arsenal were all over us for that first 30, 35 minutes. Um, no midfield. M midfield did not help our defence at all. Uh, Saka gives uh, Robertson the body faint. He turns, spins him, runs into acres of space, tries to feed in a through ball, bounces off um, Van Dijk and Martinelli just tucks it past Alisson. It's not good enough. Again, I think it's Zinchenko. Zinchenko, uh, no one closes down Zinchenko. Trent is caught between two minds. Do I step out? Do I track Martinelli? Ultimately, does nothing. Ball gets threaded through. Ibrahim Okonati steps out into right back. Trent tries to run back into right centre back. Van Dijk steps out of left centre back. Um, and Gabriel Jesus has acres of space in, in the Liverpool uh, penalty box and puts it past Alisson. Again, nothing he can really do about that. It's unfortunate, but where's the midfield? You know, why aren't players switched on? Why aren't um no one's no one's tracking back? And then a flashpoint happens. Trent and Shaka get into it. Unnecessary from both parties. And then the crowd, uh, it affects the crowd. The crowd get up again, and that switches the players on. And I don't. And this is where I really have my major gripe. I don't know why these things need to happen for the players to just switch on and start playing football and realize they're in a game. Why can't you do that from when the whistle, the first whistle goes? And then we start creating some chances, and we force we pen, pin Arsenal back, and we start to force the issue and. A lucky, uh, an, a lucky ricochet from Jordan Henderson falls into the path of Mo Salah and he puts it into the roof of the net and Liverpool cut the deficit in half. Second half is when I really saw some really like positive changes. Some positive uh, performances, sorry. Um, we put a stranglehold on Arsenal. Like They had some good counter-attacks, yes, but for the most part, we strangled them. Uh, we penned them back. We forced their manager to make um, defensive changes. I believe he brought off Jesus and Odegaard and he brought on that, that Polish centre-back, uh, Piotr, Kiwior or whatever and, and he brought on Trossard and it didn't really help them in any way and it looked like he was trying to uh, just to uh, keep the lead and, and hope to win the game 2-1 and what I liked what I really liked this half as well in the second half was the fact that there were players that were making runs off the ball you saw Fabinho popping up making an overlapping run on the left wing to put the ball in obviously it goes out for a corner um, Nunes and um, Robertson linked up really well good overlapping runs on the right hand side uh, Trent, uh, Salah and Henderson were linking up really well. We weren't spamming the ball long. We weren't spamming crosses in. We were trying to work the ball into a good area before putting in uh, deliveries. Uh, obviously, obviously, Arsenal packed the box really well. So a lot of those deliveries, um, uh, you know, just got cleared. And then uh, off a set piece, Diogo Jota wins a penalty. Definite penalty. I don't care what anyone says. Yes, it's a bit soft, but you see the way, you see, look at the replay. Um, Rob Holding is second to the ball. He takes his man out. It's a penalty. And this just epitomised our season. You've got Mo Salah, who we call a great goal scorer. This excellent spot kick record. Second penalty in the Premier League. Second time he's put it past the post. And he put it comfortably past the post. If it was any, if it was like a couple of inches inside, it definitely goes in. Like I don't think Ramsdale was even going to reach that, even though he dives the right way. And just our luck. But one thing I do like, again, another positive for the second half, is the fact that our heads didn't drop. Like Mo, Salo, Mo was disappointed, but he kept going, kept fighting. You could see he tried to assist Darwin Nunes. Again, Darwin Nunes had a couple of bad touches and he set himself up poorly for that chance. And eventually we worked the ball into a dangerous area. Trent with a brilliant bit of skill, nutmegs Zinchenko, hangs the ball. Then flo them, it's them floating balls. And, and, f and who else but Bobby Firmino? Again, the scourge of Arsenal. Many players have been the scourge of Arsenal. But Bobby Firmino, the scourge of Arsenal, um, floats... Uh, does the air Jordan heads the ball past uh, a flap in Aaron Ramsdale and the last and honestly this this chance for me man honestly like Ibrahim Kanate man come on like that ball in from Nunes by the way yeah Nunes gets a lot of slack but that's great awareness most strikers would go for goal but he's but he's clearly seen Ibrahim Kanate in a better position he heads the ball across goal Ibu like use your head. Use your foot. He uses his chest, and Aaron Ramsdale claws the ball um, uh, out of the out of the net. Well, sorry, stops the ball from going into the back of the net. And to be honest with you, um, I like what I saw in the second half a lot. I think obviously there's nothing for me. I don't believe there's anything left to play for.
But the fact of the matter is, a lot we kind of played like we had nothing to lose anymore. And I think we should take that same mentality going into the subsequent games. The, the, is it nine? I think nine games left. Nine games left for the end of the season. Take that same mentality into those nine games. Yeah, you've got nothing left to lose. You might as well uh, play without fear. Because what's the worst that's going to happen? What we've already got forty points. We're not going to get relegated. So what's the worst that can happen? Oh, you don't finish in Europe. I mean, most of us have conceded to the fact that we're probably not going to get champions. We're not getting Champions League. We're not probably probably not going to get any Europe at all. So go out there, stand up for yourself, man. Like at least let's finish the season. Uh, you know. With a bit more positivity, you know, let's go into the summer with some hope. Give us some hope going into the summer, man. Anyway, lads, like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Pull up, pull up. So, pretty much Liverpool 2, Arsenal 2. What a game! First 30 minutes, that was disgraceful. That was a shambles, you, you feel me? And um, yeah, man, Arsenal took control. And the thing is, the maddest thing is, I was chatting to one of my boys in the chat. We still had a couple of chances that we should have done better still. That was a terrible first half an hour. But after that, Shaka, Trent, Clash, right the club, the club up. We turned over the tink and then somehow we played like the team that was nearly done a quadruple last season. We started raising the pace. Arsenal couldn't handle it. Certain players started to think alike, but we still sloppy at some point. And yeah, they had one or two chances. A second that, not clear, but if, you know, we would have been game over. But came back, Salah again. I mean, say no more. If In my opinion, if Salah would have banged that penalty... Then we would have won that game, but the chances at the end. I mean, Kanate, you should be doing better, brother. Should be finishing that. Yes, Ramsey done well, but Kanate should be heading that. Boom, we should be talking about a victory. But the cup up goes good and the fight, but it's still disappointing for me. Drop more drop points. I mean, I'm not saying that if we won, it would have made us get to the top four closer, but at least some momentum or something. But the fight back is something, and Klopp done what he's done before. Change the formation, you know, like just switch it up. Bobby in the 10, you know what I mean? And for me, the next game, Bobby needs to start because we just need something. And Nunes should have buried that. Bobby needs to start. Bobby just needs to start. Gap Cole, I know he had the one or two few good games, but put him on the left wing and let's just get this team functioning right. Bring back Cavalio and yeah, man, we move. Leeds next. But this team just needs to get a win. Yeah. But anyway, Liverpool 2, Arsenal 2, and I'm out.